So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, this is part three of the Joanna's Christmas uh, the Cuckoo Clock page and um, in the first section I've drawn a trace using the children's tracing paper. I traced some of the uh, holly, holly berries and I made a kind of a bit of a a garland down, reversed it and drew it down here. And then I drew um, drew it in pen with my um, Indian ink, Permian ink in my rotaring 0.25 which seems to be about the same the same thickness as the original drawing. Um, put the inserts into the leaves and then started drawing with the Derwent graphy tint because I wanted a, a kind of a different effect but I'm drawing them with the pencil so I'm colouring them in with a, with an actual pencil um, so I'm finding um, just very carefully gently just stroking a little bit of colour in and then going over it with a brush and depending on the size of the leaves or the size size of everything I'm using three paintbrushes I've got um, two daily rounder riggers a number three and a number one and then I've got my favorite daily rounder liner number ten zero and that's for the kind of very fine uh, stems um, I'm using my pot of water so I'm dipping in and turning to a point and then using the damp brush and that seems to be just enough water it's dry enough as not to damage um, the paper but wet enough to activate this watercolour graphite tint um, and I'm using as a reference my little book of colours has all 24 turn this light out and see if that makes anything a little bit better that might be better um, so I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing I'm trying to get a bit of variation with the leaves um, so I've actually gone to a number, I'm going to go back to number three. So I've drawn in these here. So again, I've done the outside, so I'm just activating, and you can see instantly that colour. A bit like the ink tents, the colour just comes to life instantly. Um, now I did want a little bit of variation on these, but they look to be about the same. So down to that one and then drag that across I should have a natural highlight the ones with the dots I've gone straight across with solid colour and then the variegated leaf one um, what I can actually do is I'm using meadow colour you scratch a bit of it's only photocopy paper so it won't last long but it'll just give me the tiniest amount of colour to tease into there I mean you could do all of them like that instead of drawing around them but I just find I like working from a paper palette um, there was perhaps just not quite enough to give that enough as a highlight and the same with this one and then I'm using the number 10 to go around the outsides so I've done that one but you can tell this one because it's got like a pencil line through it It 
starting to look a little bit grey, but it is called a grey green or a green grey, so it's got a hint of green to it. And uh, you may have to forgive me if I have to jump up, but it's not. It will probably be tea time when when my little bags arrive. I've I've ordered from last night some Derwent pencil bags that I showed yesterday to hold all these pencils in. Um, but I've I've got to give a lot of my pencils away because I can't use them. So I'm going to give them to my daughters because they both do a lot of drawing. And one's at uni doing animation so I shall fill a bag with my art supplies and that will be an extra stocking filler I think I've actually been around all the outsides I think I have, no I haven't, I can't have been to number one. So this is a live stream with live people for Ustream.tv and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. And I quite enjoyed working with my ink tense pencils this way. I thought it would be nice to use them again. And I do use them out of my little book with a paintbrush, but this is um, another way of working with them. Just have to move that out of the way. So I've done quite a lot of extra holly garlands on this Again, I'm going to use the, the meadow colour. Let's see if I can tease a little bit of colour into these. And you do get quite a, amount of, a good amount of colour out of them actually, just by just very carefully stroking a little bit of colour in there. So I don't think I've done these. I'll start with these up here. Sometimes you can get quite a nice shadow. And I thought it would be quite nice to have a bit of highlight on these. They are kind of pale colours, not very strong these colours at all, and they're what exactly what they are, they're like a pencil with a tint of colour, um, but they get some gorgeous colours. Can I have a paper palette here just in case I just need to dibble a little bit? into there. Just to give a little bit of colour.
I mean, you can work off the paper palette all the time if you want. I mm -hmm. normally do that, so I thought I'd do something a bit different. And um, kind of work. I'd work from the pencil. So where it's plain, I've been putting a little bit of colour. When you activate that, you should have enough just to go to the other side to give a highlight. So that's given quite a nice highlight. Um, the little book is made, the pages are made from just cheap printer paper and the, um, the bit you actually scribble, the paper palettes, are made from um, a good quality sketchbook. Now this one is a Dale Rowney one, which is quite good, but it doesn't have the, it has an ink um, sign on it, but you want one that has a little water brush on it, because that means, and they're only a few pounds, they're about 99p for an A4 size, and for 11 and a half by by eight and a half they're about um 199 something like that in the uk um and it's for extra wet so it's one that will take a, a, a small amount of water and they're very flat so that means that the color sits on top if you use watercolor paper the colors sink inside and they won't stay as a paper palette so that's why i use that um, and normally they do quite well. I expected that to have dropped to bits because I made it years ago, but it's because of this particular sea white um, extra wet. Oh, it's, uh, I can't remember whether this is the book. Let me have a look. Yes, this is the one. It says 140 acid free GSM. Oops, there. And then it says extra wet strength. And that's the magic bit. That means that you can um, either do a wash on it or you can, in my case, make it into paper pallets. But I think I've made a few videos about that. Um, I didn't originally think about the paper pallet. I thought I could do it on ordinary sketchbook paper, but when I came to make carols, um, I realised that I'd, I'd made a mistake. But, you know, it depends what you use it for. I, I use mine because I've got so many different things in it, so it's lasted a long time. Um, but you you use, uh, it, and for colouring books it's perfect, because, you know, it will last a fair amount of time. So I now need that one, which has got quite an ugly... did with it. Lost the pencil, there it is. It's and this is my chair one my wobbly chair so I don't have a chance. So again I'm just taking this um, green grey number nine and there's only 24 colours in this set, this selection. And I think I bought mine when they were on half price in an art shop somewhere. Whoopsie. But again, if Derwent brought out my little book, they could put the graphic tints in as well. So that's another 24. And you get about 10 shades, so that's 240 colours before you've blinked. And there's nothing to say that they can't mix a few more colours as well. So, you know, they, you know, they could quite easily bring out a, a little colour book of watercolours for travel with a thousand colours in it. Dead easy. I got almost 600 in mine. I've 
going around the edges first. And that one was with the grey green. And then I'm using meadow for the insides of the leaves. So I hope everybody's well and uh, you'll have to forgive me when I'm concentrating <laughs> I forget to look at chat so I do apologize um, but Ustream is not really behaving itself today it's been a bit of a pest it has been a bit of a pisky pest it has um, it saved the first couple of videos, but the last two, it just froze on me, so it wasn't behaving itself. So I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody managed to get back on after I <laughs> had a spat with uh, Ustream. It seems to be okay until you want to save the video and then it decides that it's kind of gone in, not going to play. Um, so I quite like the first little bit I did here. Um, but I'm going to go back up to here, so I'm still using the three paintbrushes. So I'm putting the meadow in the centre of the plain ones. Just a very light scratch over the top. And then that's allowing me to kind of Pick the colour up, activate it, and then stroke it into somewhere else. So that will give me a highlight on that one. So this one, and then I've got enough pigment to do that one. And if I just go back and touch, I'll just have enough to do this one. So it can be quite pale, that. Just steal a little bit. I did a bit of a scratchy here, just to give me a little bit of colour. Um, so that I can have a little bit of colour on that one. I've made them all different, but you can make them all the same. It's, uh, it's fine. And again, I've got this one, and when I've activated this one, there should be enough to give this a pale highlight. So it's a fairly quick way of working. It does mean that you're picking up a pencil all the time, but what you could do, um, if I do the other one first, is you draw around the edges of them all, and put all the colour on in one go and then you can either leave it and do it a different day so if you wanted to do this and then go on holiday you could leave your paint pencils at home and then just take a couple of paint brushes I think a water brush is a bit too wet I wouldn't use a water brush um, although this is quite good quality paper I personally wouldn't, but if you have, I mean, I've bought expensive ones, and I've got cheap ones. Um, if you have a dry, a very, very dry um, water brush, then it will work. But the best thing to do is to test it on the back page. Or if it doesn't have a test page, I normally do the one that, at the front that says this book belongs to, 
I use that as a practice page. So again, I just need to go around just a very, very rough line because there's quite a lot of colour. They're very well pigmented, are these, even though they're pale, they're very good with pigments. It's a Derwent trait. So they scratch on almost like um, a 4, 6B pencil. They're quite, quite creamy, they just kind of scribble straight on quite nicely and quite softly. It's a soft pencil. Which is quite nice if you if you can't really grip with your thumb, it's quite nice that. Um, I haven't got a point, so I've got to be a bit careful. But I'm not going to waste any more pencil by sharpening them again. I can just about manage with this. And you don't have to be too exact because when you've activated it with water, you can manipulate the colour where you want it with your fine paintbrush and push the paint around where you want it so that's quite nice so it's better to actually have gaps than to go over your lines if you can if you can help it and I'm rushing a little bit but there's no reason why you couldn't do this on all the pages in lots of different watercolour pencils and then leave it and then if you went away you would just have your paintbrushes and your and your water and all your pencils could stay at home now I'm lucky I've made myself a little book where I can take them with me. So I have uh, a suitcase full of supplies in my handbag. And I've just got a few in the middle that I've drawn here. It's a bit of an odd looking one. And then I've actually come to make to be colouring in some of Joanna's ones that she drawn. Um, now these are a bit finer because they're a lot neater drawn than mine so even though I did trace them um, my hands don't work as well as I'd like them to so and I think that was my problem with Inktober I just thought well I know how to draw I can draw and I just could not draw everything went wrong and I think that's because I find it difficult holding pens and pencils now so. So I think my drawing days are over, but I'm going to try and persevere for ink to, uh, for um, art in the Abbey. I'm going to try and do it once a week. So I think I've gone around all those. So I'm now going to go in there with Meadow. And so where where there is a flat kind of space. I'm making that to be the darkest and then the half ones now I don't think these are like the ink tens I don't think these are fast once you've done them I think you can reactivate them like a normal watercolour whereas the ink tense pencils once you've drawn them and activated them with water they are fast I'm 
can just put in the lightest amount on there. And I think I've done them all. Oh, there's that one. Apart from that, I think I've done them all. So let's use number one. Oopsie. Oh, I've never heard of that, Dorothy. What's zest it? Never heard of that. Hi, Dorothy. Welcome back. Oh, very good. It's for blending pencils. That's very good. I, uh, as I say, I think my pencil days are <laughs> my pencil days are definitely over. Um, but I'm quite enjoying these. In fact, I was thinking that my watercolour days were over as well, actually, but uh, we'll have to see how we go on. And I want to make some candy, some some fancy candy cane uh, tree ornaments for my daughter's tree, but uh, and that's not happened yet. So I'm a bit a bit cross. Time's getting on, and we didn't get the tree up yesterday. But, uh, I I volunteered the abbey. Um, and I've, I only did two hours, which they were very shocked at, because normally I stay for a bit longer. And I almost fell in the car, so... <laughs> but it's important for me to go, because it's the only day I go out now. So I need I need that. That's my... Uh, and my Bible study, because... Uh, And you guys, you guys keep me going. This is why I get up every day and, and stream. <laughs> it stops stops me taking painkillers. So that keeps me going. So you'll have to forgive me if you think, oh, for goodness sake, she's on again. <laughs> I'm a bit like Ken Dodd. You should get me on, you can't get me off. But we love Ken Dodd. Bless him. So hopefully we shall have some art in the Abbey. And that will be once a week. I'm hoping it's going to be live, but it just depends on the the Wi-Fi because it depends where we are. If we're near the office, we get the the Wi-Fi works. But if we're a long way away, it doesn't. So, um, so I've got that to plan. But we'll get Christmas out of the way first. And so that should be some drawing and get a decent drawing down. And then some either watercolour or oils, water based oils. And um, what else have we got? Acrylics. Because I've got all these things left from college, so I've got to use them up. I don't know what my daughter used when she did her blending, but it was a beautiful thing she coloured in. I think I showed it. It was um, is it the giraffe one, I think she did. And I'd not shown her how to do it. I just kind of 
thrown it at her. She was a bit stressed when she was doing her, her O-levels last year, so I, I bought her a colouring book. And the colour soft, the Derwent colour soft are fab. Um, I can't use them. I've tried. I just cannot, um, I cannot use pencils at all. So I don't know if I'm kind of ruining this and going too different, but it's very it's very different to what I normally do. Missed on that. Uh, but again, as a Derwent watercolour pencil, they're very well pigmented, are these? So as soon as you've activated it with water, you can actually send it to a different space. And it activates it into a watercolour, which is quite nice. And they're a little bit easier to use. As I say, I can't really use a pencil and I certainly can't blend. Um, so it's just about right for me, is this? need to pick up a tiniest amount of colour to make a highlight and again highlight this one and then that one's a dark one so I've got a little bit of variation going on thought I'd done that one Maybe I'd forgotten that one. So there's just a little bit of variation going on. Um, so we'll go. Do a full sized one first and get a little bit of colour um, for doing a, a darker one. So a word of warning, if you do do all these, it takes you twice as long to do a page than it would normally, because there is a lot on, I've probably doubled the amount of, of colouring in things in this space, so that's a word of warning. Oh dear, yes, it's, um, I, this is why I do this, I crawl out of bed and get downstairs and, and do this. Um, so if I can keep anybody going, that's good. Do try. I'm going to put a colour in that one. I spent most of about six months last year not actually getting out of bed, not going anywhere. And um, as I say, I don't know what 
US daytime television is like, but uh, you lose the will to carry on when you've watched British daytime <laughs> television. And that's awful, isn't it? I shouldn't say that. It's just not my thing. I can watch YouTube all day. Um, that's what I did. I just used to tap. I could tap the. Um, I could tap the. The screen, but when you take a lot of medications, I used to nod off. In fact, it's longer than that because the girls have not been at school for a fair while. And they used to go to school and they used to say, Mummy, there's a cup of tea there. Uh, we're going to school now. It's 8 o'clock and they used to go get the bus or 10 to 8. And then they used to wake me up and say, Mummy, we're home. And I didn't even know, <laughs> know they'd gone. So sometimes it's a bit much. You just on painkillers. So I try not to take them because. They make me a bit uh, a bit loopy. <laughs> so, if um, thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope you find this interesting. These different pencils that I've got. Um, And if you're watching on Ustream, thank you for uh, YouTube. Thank you for watching. And these are quite long, drawn-out uh, videos I do now because I find they're easier to upload. Um, on there, but um, I appreciate all your comments and. Uh, hope uh, I pass on a little bit of knowledge that I have. It's not a lot, but in the words of Tesco's, every little helps. So actually, that doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> Except for that, I still miss two. I think you should probably start in one direction. That's probably a good idea. And then you can kind of work your way across. So I've got one or two highlights. Um, oops, I've got one or two highlights. So if I just zoom out a bit, you'll be able to see how we do. So it looks fairly balanced. There is actually another leaf up there, so we'll give. Um, I think we could possibly give that a darker. Yeah, we could go a bit darker with that one, couldn't we? So we'll just give this a little bit of. And we'll do a little bit of reverse. On there. And we'll probably find that works better. Got my pencil stuck on. So I normally stream early in the morning, most days. Um, but that's not set in stone. My time is um, 2 o'clock, one, between 1 and 2, which is about 9 o'clock American time. And um, about nine o'clock in the evening, I think it's Australian time, I think, 18 hours behind, aren't they? Um, and that's on a Tuesday. So probably if you're in the US, that's the only time you can catch me live. <laughs> on a Tuesday, on a Tuesday morning, about nine-ish. 
So I quite like that. My, my, my thingies move, so... Ah, that's better. I wondered how to do that and I'd forgotten. That's better. Um, so I drew this one in and that one and I've drawn all this and that. So we have a little red robin there. Oh, I've missed another leaf there. So I'm just going to put that in there. I haven't decided about... Um, I haven't quite yet decided whether to, to do a dull berry or whether to actually use a different type of pencil. I don't normally do that. I'm a bit of a stick in the mud, but I might do that this time. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Yes, it is a good idea. Yeah. And you can take it with you as well. You know, you can take everything with you. So let me have a look at my greens. In my little book here, I have... We've used the meadow the grey and the ivy and the sage was the one that I used um, and I quite like that so that's the sage colour I need which will be this one yep so I'm just going to very carefully and I do have a point on this one because what I want to do is I'm just putting a line I'm going to start at the top though and I'm basically trying to get a little line at the bottom so when I activate it with water I can have a highlight at the top so half half the branches is in light and the other half and that's just with drawing a single line Um, now I, I drew this, I was just thinking that I think I drew this, which is why it's not perfect. So I'm trying to get the tiniest amount of dark, and then of course when it comes down here you want to go the other way. You still want it underneath. That's not always going to work because I don't have a very sharp pencil. Let's start at this side and go down. So again, another another way of working with watercolor pencils. This time Derwent graphi tint. Really easy. Just very carefully and again no pressure because I can't do a lot of pressure with my thumbs. Pushing that colour in. And then there's a little bit here. A little bit there, and then we go on the proper Joanna's. One there, and, and I've done that one. So that seems to be all that. So I need a number 10 rig. Um, this is the uh, Dale Rowney liner. 10 zero graduate and it's quite a nice long fine brush and it's perfect if we start here no oh, I don't have to turn it as much it just activating that color so you're just stroking it and if you stroke it upwards it should give you a highlight it won't always but it should do So 
like there we've got a little highlight there that just makes it that little bit different so I'll just go do this and then we'll zoom in a little bit so I'm just very carefully just activating that color and if you go in a line you know where you've been because it does change but it's just a subtle change so sometimes you can't always see where you've been So have we got any questions? If anybody wants to ask anything, pop it in caps and then I can see it and stop and read it. Because um, if it's in lowercase, I, I sometimes think you're just having a natter, which is what we're here for. It's the best bit. It's people having a natter, swapping ideas. Sometimes I go in my own little world of nod. So I think I'm almost finished now. So I've got to decide on the colours for the clock. Got a nice little highlight there, so I've got some nice spaces. Um, so we've got some nice presents down here, so I thought I might brighten these up a bit. Um, on my piece of paper, I was looking at there's a port and there's an autumn, and I think the autumn is probably the right colour. But we're looking at the clock, so we need to do the face a certain colour. Um, so we have a cool, a cool grey. So if we get the cool grey out, oh, cool or cloud? Sorry, cloud. I can't read. That would make these hands silver or pale. I wonder if we should leave leave that cream. No, because it'd be a background. So we need um or maybe we should have done this one and done those a darker perhaps hmm this one is number 19 warm grey warm grey would quite be nice for a background so that was warm grey yep so I think we'll have a warm grey and this is what gave me the idea to do this because when I'm doing my watercolouring I can't really do a very large space so 
but you can if you do it like this. So that's given me there is nothing I can't colour now, whereas before I was restricted to small spaces and small shapes, and now I'm not. So I can very carefully add a dry a dry colour and then activate it with water. I'm not putting any pressure on it, I'm hardly holding the pencil at all because that's going to give me a really even an even colour and also it's not going to hurt my fingers I think I've just about covered all that We won't know what it looks like until let me just zoom in a little bit. You can just see the pencil line. And just make sure that the uh, bring back sooty. And just make sure that we can see. a little bit better. You can see those little pencil lines that's probably just a little bit more there than that's on the other side. So I think the rest of it is going to be wood. So we'll have to have a look at what we want to do with the wood size. So we've had this one and the grey So we've got four nice colours. We've got a chestnut, which is quite ready. But we've got a russet and a brown. There's a mountain grey there, which is mountain grey. Oh, mountain grey is quite nice. We've got storm, which I always liked. I think that's storm, is it? No, that's Storm. Storm is a bit purpley then, isn't it? Hmm. Storm is slightly purple. So let's just have a bit of a play. And then activate with water. Hmm. It's probably a little bit too purple, is Storm. And that's his Midnight Black. I thought it was Midnight Black. Um, I don't want the greys now. I don't want the greys. I want the browns. So I want cocoa, cool brown, um, chestnut and russet. I think russet because chestnut's a little bit too. So I need three colours for the the clock. So we've got um, the russet. And then we've got the cocoa, and then we've got cool brown. So in theory, they're all in in cool order. So it should be warm. So that's one, and that's the other. Is everybody okay? Oh, you're welcome, Donnie. Yes, welcome. Nice to meet you too. I hope everybody's okay. Thank you for popping in. 
I get a bit carried away when I'm uh, if I can squint I can just about see I can just about see chat um, so I wanted a pale one so I quite like this color um, so I think the russet was the warmest because I was going to do the russet color and then we could do pale and then we could do dark yes so I think the russet would be quite nice kind of behind here so I'm just going to very carefully just colour this in And then by the time I finish this, I think that might be the end of part three. So just very carefully. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um... We'll just end part. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have to finish this cold coffee. I'm sorry, my chair keeps banging into my other chair. <coughs> but I'm hoping that that's going to give. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me once I start I just see if I can <coughs> excuse me chew a couple of minutes for a second <coughs> oh dear See if I can make this. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> Oh, bye, Dorothy. Thank you for stopping in. Enjoy yourself this evening. Have a good time. <coughs> I may have to stop if I don't stop coughing. <laughs> I think Emma's on this afternoon sometime, isn't she? It's Thursday. Normally Emma's on on a Thursday. Dear, excuse me. I was hoping to finish this before I. Let 
just going to go around this and then in the next part I will um, activate it with water and try and do some a little bit of shading a very light wash right over the top. Hi King Girl, welcome to Bunny's Designs. <clears throat> I've been, um, if I, I'll just pan out a little bit and then you can possibly see what I'm doing. I'm just shading in. I've been drawing <laughs> extra extra holly leaves and holly berries all the way around so I'm just taking um, a graphite tint russet colour which is going to be kind of like a nice chestnutty brown colour so I can uh, activate it with water just give this a little bit of a and it's just a very light a very light scribble almost just touching it which is quite good because my hands my thumb wouldn't really kind of grip down so basically I'm just sliding it across the page I think just maybe a little bit in there. And a little bit in there. Um, <clears throat> so that was the rustic colour. So if I show you what I was, So that's what I was doing. And then if you want to go darker, you can. So hopefully I should get that really nice fawn colour and then that's the brown. So I need a oopsie, a larger brush. Oh goodness, I've got a little crease in there now. Um I wonder what I've got. I think I've got a number six. It's the black ones that were bigger, wasn't it? Let me have a look. I've got a number six black. I'm just going to see. I think these might be a little bit too wet. Uh, just have to have a play. I'm working with graphy tint. <clears throat> I'm working with graphy tint. So if I start here. quite a nice effect. So these are Derwent graphite tints. And I've used them differently. I haven't used them from my little book of watercolours. So where are we now? What time? So I'll just show the difference. So this is the end of part three. And if you can see, this is the pencil. And then this is where I'm just touching it with a damp rigger just to activate the colour. And then that's making quite a nice effect. And a fairly 
fairly large area which again I thought I couldn't do with my pencils, my watercolour pencils and the way I work with a damp brush. But this is a damp brush and it's behaving itself quite well activating all this colour and still giving quite a nice large flat area and this is how I got the stones the other day um, but this is going to be so different because it's graphy tint so it's, it's a lot different so that's the end of part um, end of part three and let's pan out you can see it's coming together but there's an awful lot on there now but I still have the lovely ivory background behind all this um, so thank you for watching um, I'll be doing part four in a moment but for youtubers um, and everybody that's